Hey everyone, this is Brandon Bias from ChichiCheka.com and welcome to a Photoshop advanced tutorial. Today we're going to be looking into some text effects and I'm actually going to show you what it looks like when we're done. So here you go, we got this kind of complicated looking text effect but it's actually relatively simple in how many layers there are. There's actually not too many and some of the effects that we can see here is the halftone in the background. Our word actually looks kind of rubbery and obviously just kind of crazy looking and I'm sure you guys want to get right into this so we're gonna start it up right now with our new document I'm using the dimensions 1024 by 576 but of course that really doesn't matter because you can do whatever the heck you want on your computer I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and we're gonna type in our word obviously I'm gonna be using crazy except I probably want to make that all caps and the thing is when you're making your word is you want it to be a little spaced out and also have it a bold kind of font so we're actually gonna find our impact font wherever it went right there we're gonna make it a strong text so that way it's a little more bold and if we want to get that spacing that I talked about just a second ago you want to go up here and click the toggle character and paragraph panels and you want to increase the AV and that looks alright right there spacing wise turn that off check mark it and here we go we've got our word crazy and it's nice and spaced out the way we want it to so now that we have our word what we want to do is right click it and go down to create work path and it didn't see much happen over here but if you go to our paths channel you'll see that it has a work path right here and you want to double click it and name it crazy and if you go back to our layers you can turn off the word crazy and you see that we've actually got this outline of the word that we made just a second ago so now what you want to do is go over to our path selection tool or the letter A and zoom in a little bit and click one of the letters and just start messing with it and making it however the heck you want it to look and if you hold control while you have it on one of the corners it will make this interesting looking icon you can actually start doing some rather weird distortions and etc etc to your words and we're just gonna keep on messing with these maybe turn it a little bit go on to our A maybe a little more like that so this is where you guys just kind of how do you put it have fun warping your words making it however you want to look Alright, so that should just about do it for that, but the text itself looks rather original. There's not much happening to it except for it's just a little distorted here and there. And we want to make it look more interesting, so if you hit shift and the letter A, it will go to another tool, which is actually your direct selection tool. And now you can start messing around with individual points on your words, and if you zoom in, you can actually get a very uh, more defined look on these lines so just do whatever the heck you want with this uh, not that I don't really have much to say at this point because you know I'm just playing with my lines sounds a little bit awkward but it's all completely true Oh. 
Almost done. Okay. That should uh, just about do it right there. Ex ooh, except this is a little too far in for my liking. Whatever, that'll do. Okay, so by now you should hopefully have your entire word just uh, screwed up, I guess you could put it. I'm actually going to fix that up just a little bit. There we go. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go over to our paths, because this is the path we messed up, and we're going to control click, and it should load our selection for us. Go back to our layers, make a new one, and we're going to fill that up with white with control backspace and deselect it and we can't really see the word we just made because it's the same color as our background so with that layer still selected we're gonna control click to create a new layer and that should make a layer below the one that we had selected and if you hit shift backspace go to 50 percent gray and you hit OK and that will fill up that layer with your gray and now you can see your word Okay, next thing we want to do is click our crazy layer and go over to our swatches and we want to pick some sort of bluish color so let's choose that one right there and that made it our background color in the bottom left hand corner and you want to lock the transparency on this level with this icon right here and if you fill in this entire layer with that blue color using control backspace it will only fill in the word crazy because you locked the transparency on that layer and then you can unlock it and now you want to double click the box right here and it will bring up our layer styles and we want to add a stroke to this we want it to be a white color and we're going to size it up until all of the letters are touching each other with the stroke and hit OK and we want to duplicate this layer and double click the effects on the one below it and we want to go back to our stroke size it up even more and change the color to a orangey kind of color and I'm going to just mess with the size a little bit and that looks okay to me and we'll hit okay so here we go we've got our word crazy we've got our strokes uh, actually, I just want the stroke a little bit bigger so that it matches better with the orange stroke behind it. And if you go over here and you right click the effects indicator right there, you can actually go down to the bottom and click create layer. And as you can see, that kept our text right here, but it also made the stroke its own layer. And you want to do the same with the other layer below it, create layer. And so you should have your text layer, your white stroke, your duplicated word crazy, which you can actually just trash because we're not going to use it. And you've got your orange stroke. So let's start adding effects to the stroke by double clicking the box again. And add a drop shadow. Don't really want to mess with it. So in Go to our bevel and then boss and if you uncheck the use global light you can start changing the angle and altitude and you can see that the lighting source over here is changing as you click around on here and what we actually want to do is make it very close to the center but a little up and to the left and if you increase the depth a little and mess with the size you can actually get that rubbery edge right off the bat. 